Hey Team Shuckle, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Double Trouble. Uh, today we're doing another Battle Spot episode because I, um, it, it's like my first day at my internship and it's like a weird schedule. It's like from, it's, I'm going at, I'm supposed to be there at 5.30 p.m. and I'm probably going to be there until like midnight. So I have a lot of things to get done before I go, and I'd rather not, you know, sort of wait around for people to respond. Um, but once I get a hang of, you know, the schedule and what, what that's going to be, be like, um, I'll probably start asking on Twitter for battles. Um, it's going to be probably pretty early, to be quite honest with you, probably around noon my time that's eastern standard time so hopefully that works for people hopefully more people can uh, respond because i usually get the same people a lot and i want to give you guys you know a little bit of uh uh you know like difference uh i don't know the word that i'm looking for i'm gonna put a little light on me there we go all right so i'm gonna hit challenge we're using this team i love this team uh, you're probably not gonna get a team review because I'm gonna be using this at regional, so I'll do that after. You know, hopefully I get a, you know, I, I get a good placement there, uh, so that would be nice. But I'm not really, you know, expecting it. I'm just hoping for it. You know, I don't want to jinx myself yet. But there's a lot of um, what you call it, a lot of premier events in the area that I'll be going to, leading up to regionals. Regionals is only like three weeks away, I think. It's really not that far, actually, come to think of it. Yeah, it's really not that far. It's about three weeks away. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. I'll be going to Philly, for those of you who want to know. Um, hoping to place in at least the top eight. Uh, this team really works. I I'm debating between this team and the Charizard team, because they're both pretty good in themselves. Uh, so, you know, looking at this team, I'm just going to start off with Gengar Kangaskhan. Um, his team's actually pretty slow in general. Uh, so I might just want to stick not, you know, not use Trick Room. I don't know yet, um, but I'm going to bring Rotom because I think Rotom's going to be pretty, pretty useful here. And um, I think Gardevoir would be pretty useful, actually. Um, but I'm going to bring Gudra instead. Oops. Uh, because, you know, this Gardevoir is decently bulky, but I don't think it can take a Brave Bird. And I know Gudra can, so I'd rather have Gudra who I knew can take a Brave Bird, uh, and that's sort of the reasoning, and plus uh, with um, Rotom, I don't really have to worry too much about the, uh, the Heracross, because I can pretty much destroy that Heracross, um, although the Heracross might be Mega, and something cool about Mega Heracross, with only 40 HP, it can survive whatever Mega Kangaskhan throws its way, and that's Max Attack Kangaskhan. That's kind of ridiculous. That's kind of ridiculous. So, hoping it's not Mega, because then I'd have to, like, double attack it or something like that, and I'd be slower, I'd be faster than it in Trick Room, so I don't know if I'm going to go for Trick Room yet. Uh, I have to see what he's going to start off with. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, ooh, should I? Or should I just... Nah, you know what? I'm just going to attack it. I'm going to Shadow Ball the Chandelure, and I'm going to Mega Evolve. Ooh, wait a second. I could crunch the Chandelure, and that would probably kill it. That's a good point. Um, I'm actually going to Shadow Ball... Ooh, stop doing this. That's a really good point. I'm actually going to Shadow Ball the um, Talonflame and Mega Evolve and crunch the Chandelure. I think that's actually a better plan. I think that's definitely a much better plan, because... He's either going to go for Quick Guard, expecting the Fake Out onto the Talonflame, or Brave Bird onto the Kangaskhan, in which case the, um, the Double Edge would actually do a lot of damage to me. Um, I'd probably die from that. Um, but he's actually going to Brave Bird the Gengar, which is pretty interesting. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, which means he's probably double attacking the Gengar, I think. I love how I use my fists to attack this Chandelure. Ooh, that's not enough. Oh, that is enough! Oh, okay. Hello, surprise. Surprise, surprise. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. <laughs> How much does Shadow Ball do? Oh! Oh, this is so close. So close. So close. Um. Ooh. Ah, oh, this thing. Um. Jeez. Oh, I have to double attack it. I, I think. Um. 
Oh, this is this is difficult. I'm gonna just double attack it. I'm hoping I'm faster than it. <laughs> I'm hoping it and it's mega, so it might survive this. I don't know if they run um, a lot of bulk normally, so I'm hoping I survive this. Now the Talon Flame is probably gonna take out my Gengar and take some damage along with it. Yeah, it's gonna definitely take out my. Oh crit! That's great. That was so necessary. Oh. That was so unnecessary, Talonflame. You didn't need that. Alright, so now I'm going to get the double edge off. I'm probably going to lose my Kangaskhan this turn. Yep. 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 Please tell me you went for, like, Rock Blast. Nope, you went for Close Combat. Damn it. Okay, but I do still have the Talon... I do still have the Rotom and the Gudra, and Gudra's a really good Pokemon, so... I still got a good chance. And I'm sure Gudra will outspeed this, this Heracross thing. Um... Although, you know what, I might just hit the Heracross with a Volt Switch. Um, and then just go for Thunderbolt on the Talonflame. Probably. Uh, that might make the most sense, I think. Or I could just go for, like, a Sludge Bomb. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm sure he's going to want to switch in something to take that. So, I'm going to Volt Switch the Heracross, and I'm going to Sludge Bomb. Nah, you know what, I'll just go for Thunderbolt, just in case. You never know. <laughs> he's probably going to stay and go for Brave Bird against the Gudra. <laughs> But uh, I decided to go for Rotom Heat on the Heracross because I think Rotom Heat's a little bit faster than Gudra, so in that case, I will definitely, you know, at least get get the Heracross. Um, looks like he's actually going to go for Brave Bird, so he's going to end up killing himself. Wow, you were banded. Um, you were most definitely blanded. Banded. Um, I'm pretty sure... I have, like, 204 defense. <laughs> and I'm bold. And I have max HP, so I'm most certainly you were banded. I should have taken that a lot better than than that allowed. <laughs> a lot better than that allowed. Um, but we'll see who he brings in now. Azumarill. Okay, that's not too shabby because I should be faster than this thing. Um, and I don't actually think a water, an Aqua Jet will kill me. Uh, so I think I'm in a good position. And Aqua Jet shouldn't kill the Rotom either. At full HP, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm in a good position, I think. I outspeed it. I have the Thunderbolt. I've got the Volt Switch, which while is not as strong. Yeah, he is gonna Aqua Jet. Please tell me I survive this. Oh, hallelujah. I I love this Gudra. It's so good. Assault Vest with like huge amounts of defense um, oh please tell me my Thunderbolt will be enough not that it matters because I think you'll die anyway next turn so I, I don't know um, and it's enough oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah whoa, 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 what? yeah I'm sorry <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing Ugh. okay cool I like that I love this team so much it's so good like I'm making another team right now, and I took it from, I don't remember who I, Harume or something like that. Um, someone actually directed me to his videos. I was, at, I was looking to, oh no, 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 I did the wrong team. I clicked the wrong team. I was looking, I'm, I'm looking to, you know, use trick room setters that I don't normally use or, you know, ones that I haven't used yet. So I was looking at Bennett, so I asked in the VGC chat on Showdown, you know, what, are, what, are, what do you guys think are are a good trick room pair, you know, with Mega Bennett, and someone pointed me to videos from Harume. I think it's Harume. It's been a while since I actually looked at the video, so I don't remember. This guy doesn't have items on two of his Pokemon. Um, so he had, like, a Mega Bennett and Gothitelle combo, and I was looking at it, and I love it so much, and I threw in Aromatisse just as an extra, because I, I like Aromatisse, but... It works pretty well. It's a little rough around the edges, the, the team, but I like it so far. It has a sock. It has a sock. I love sock. Um, let's see. Let's see. So, Venusaur, Snorlax, Zapdos, Azumarill, Garchomp, and Aegislash. Um, ah, team's pretty slow again. I'm going to start off with Kangaskhan. I like Kangaskhan as a lead here. And I'm going to start off with uh, Gardevoir. I like Gardevoir too. Uh, I'm going to bring Gudra and I believe Rotom. Yeah, Rotom's going to be pretty useful here. That burn is going to be so necessary. And plus, both Rotom and Gudra are pretty much immune to... Uh, pretty much handle Venusaur and Amoongus. Uh, Rotom has safety goggles and Gudra has sap zipper. 
Uh, I really want to name this Gudra Bacchus. Uh, I don't know if you guys know a lot about Greek mythology or even fairy tale. Um, Bacchus was like the Greek god of, of drinking, and in fairy tale, Bacchus is a heavy drinker. And I think it's funny because like sometimes you hear people call um, like sap sipping, you know, like drinking the sap is like drinking alcohol. So I, I think I personally think it's hysterical. Uh, so I'm going to Mega Evolve, I'm going to double edge this Azumarill, and I am going to go for Psychic onto the Venusaur. Yay. Um, I'm just really hoping he doesn't sleep powder my Kangaskhan, which is probably something he will. Because um, I don't I don't think Psychic will one-shot it. Uh, it's Mega, so maybe it won't. It might. It might. It has a good chance, but I don't think I'm invested in Special Attack. I don't think I am. I think I have not a lot, but minimal. So I'm going to go for Double Edge. That should kill this thing. Oh, no Citrus Berry. Oh, nice. Interesting. Citrus Berry would have survived that, but it didn't have Citrus Berry, so yay! <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, you're actually going to go for Sludge Bomb. I should survive that, actually. Yay, I survived that, but I get poisoned. Great. Oh, yay, I have Citrus Berry. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> How much does Psychic do? I'm really curious. Oh, oh, happy days. Um, hmm. Clearly, I'm slower. Clearly. Uh, this is a Trick Room setting Gardevoir. That would make sense. Uh, you're going to bring in Zapdos, who doesn't have any attack. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to... Double-edge the Venusaur, and I'm going to switch into my Gudra. Because I don't want to lose my Gardevoir just yet, and Gudra can handle both of these Pokemon very easily. Uh, without a doubt in my mind. I don't have anything to hit the Zapdos super effectively, but I can hit it pretty hard. Uh, so he's going to go for his Thunderbolt. Yeah, I'm going to take... I'm going to eat that up. Eat that up. Um, and Double Edge will go off and kill this Venusaur without a doubt in my mind. One hit, that's all I need. That is all I need. Now, I will get recoil and stuff, but it's not the end of the world. It really is not. So, who is he going to bring in now? Snorlax. I have to hammer on the Snorlax, and I'm going to Draco Meteor. The, uh... Actually, I'm going to get a bit of damage off onto the Zapdos first with Thunderbolt, because I think it's neutral, so that's probably my, be my second best option. I have Sludge Bomb and Flamethrower, so that's my second best option. Um, oh, it's going to go for Discharge. That won't kill me. That won't kill anything. <laughs> but that will do good damage on the Snorlax. Oh, no, we get paralyzed. Oh, please tell me we break through. We do. Okay, Hammer Arm should kill this thing. It really should. Oh, yes! Ha ha! I love this Kangaskhan. Crunch, Double Ed, Ed, Double Ed, Double Edge, and, uh, and hammer arm is just so powerful. There's not many things out there that can pretty much beat it. Uh, Thunderbolt does good damage. I like that damage. Uh, so now I'm going to go for double edge. I'm probably going to die, I think, and Draco Meteor. And that should be enough to take out this Zapdos. This itemless Zapdos. Itemless. Uh, no, you're going to go for Thunderbolt. Yeah, that should actually probably take me out. Really? That's really surprising. I know you're not itemless, but I'm sure you're, you know, EV trained, right? I don't know. That doesn't take it out. Wow. Okay, cool. But Double Edge should take it out. Obviously. <laughs> I mean, Double Edge should definitely take it out. Uh, oh, and I don't get the recoil, so that's a 3-0. Right? Oh, no, right. Oh, but the recoil's not enough. Yeah! Awesome! Foro, I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching and appreciative I am. Hello, Yoda. Um, I am appreciative that you guys are sticking by with the battle spot, even though I know you guys like the live VGC. Just give me a chance to get my uh, real life schedule intact and I will be able to get a better time. I, I can even estimate it and even tell you guys the specific time every day. Weekends, however, will be good. So, uh, so far I'm not working on weekends, I don't think, yet. Uh, they don't open on weekends until the 20th. So up until the 20th, I should be able to have weekends um, that'll last for videos and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you at the next video. Peace.